Hi everyone, talk about what you are going to study during the second week. Lesson 3. Lesson 3 is going to be about simplify expressions. Objectives for this lesson is going to be identify and combine like terms, simplify expressions using like terms. We mainly need the students to simplify expressions and deal with rational coefficients, not only integers. Uh, we want them to use the, uh, the properties of operations to combine, the, to combine like terms. Remember that in the last week, students were asked to load and evaluate algebraic expressions and to generate equivalent expressions. During this week, we want them to focus on combining like terms and simplifying expressions. The next week, we will talk about expand factor and subtract and add expressions. Also, analyzing equivalent expressions will come on. This lesson emphasizes a blend of conceptual understanding and procedural skills and learn. Notice that, that students develop a deeper understanding of the associative and commutative properties, and they are going to be more fluent in simplifying expressions by combining like terms. If you can see this example in their book, we want them to imagine the like terms concept as if they are blocks, building blocks or Lego bl blocks. So th they need to combine uh, similar pieces together. And while they are combining them, they need to rearrange in order to rearrange, they are going to put similar blocks together, then they will add them together. Also, we want them to deal with um, coefficients that are rational coefficients, not only integers. So they are going to uh, remember fractions and uh, how to deal with different denominators. Again, we can see that expressions could have more than one variable, not only one, could have many, so they need to rearrange them using the properties. If we go to key concept when simplifying algebraic expressions, use properties of operations to combine like terms. Next, we are going to uh, take lesson 4 4, which is expand expressions. The objectives. For this lesson, will be apply the distributive property to expand linear expressions and use area model. Area model will come to that to solidify their understanding of the distributive property. Again, we will focus on how distributive property will give us an equivalent expression. We will come to the concept of area model uh, it is more like mental image it will help them to imagine what they are doing so it will be easy for them to uh, practice okay we can see example number one it is a very good example to represent the area model uh, we know that if i want to find any area for a rectangular shape i'm going to multiply the length by the width okay but what if, what if I have two areas adjacent to each other? They have the same width with different length. What I'm going to do? In this case, I'm going to use a distributive property. We want them to imagine this here again. This is what we are called the area model. And here, in example number two, we can see that we are going to multiply each term inside the parentheses with the uh, variable or number, whatever, uh, outside. Arriving to the key concept, you can expand an expression using the distributive property. Multiply or distribute the factor outside the parentheses with each term inside the parentheses. So if I have here a variable 
a number, whatever. I'm going to multiply it with what in what uh, comes inside the parentheses. Of course, we want to take care of uh, the signs. We will review uh, the sign clause again. Grade seven. Always refer to your ECA. You can find many videos, the practice worksheets, and so on. Good luck for everyone. Thank you.